Let's see the recent maritime accidents. After three weeks, the cargo ship SMP Novodvinsk is still aground in Poland. The cargo ship SMP Novodvinsk went aground in the Szczecin Fairway at 1240 UK on January 12. The ship was still aground around 1600 UK, with a tug and CG boat at her side. The current political scenario between Poland slash Baltia and Russia makes refloating difficult. While discharging fuel, the tanker Pixis Epsilon was damaged by bad weather. On February 6, the tanker Pixis Epsilon was damaged in bad weather near Amchit Anchorage in Lebanon. A ship carrying 42,000 tons of diesel oil was emptying cargo when the incident occurred. Cargo operations were promptly halted, and there was no evidence of a leak. Golden Tree, a Chinese ship, caught fire in Iranian seas in the Persian Gulf. In the Persian Gulf, a fire broke out on board the Chinese ship Golden Tree. Tanker AIS has been missing over the last 16 hours, and according to the most recent locations, she was adrift. The fire started late on February 5th or early on February 6th, while the ship was about 30 nautical miles southwest of Dayan. In Rotterdam, every gentle mega container ship is in difficulty. In the evening of February 6, every gentle broke free from her moorings in Maslach, Rotterdam. There were no reported damages or injuries. Tugs were dispatched right away to get the ship's forepart back to dock. The oil pier at San Lorenzo, Parana collided with the tanker Ardmore Sea Vanguard. The oil tanker Ardmore Sea Vanguard arrived in San Lorenzo on the Parana River in Argentina. Pier structures were harmed, although the amount of the damage is uncertain. The tanker was given permission to resume her journey, and she loaded 9,000 tons of biofuel bound for the Netherlands. After her chains were twisted, a tanker closed the Kiel Canal. In the morning of February 8, while passing the Kiel Canal, the anchor chains of a tanker became entangled. On the way from Antwerp to Primorsk, Russia, she was sailing in the Zayastep region about 3.15 p.m. UTC, accompanied by tug or in tow, not clear. Tanker Sao Jorge's cargo was ruptured, the engine room was flooded, and the ship was heavily tilted in the Azores. The tanker Sao Jorge got aground in the strait between Graciosa and Praia early on February 8. The tanker was moored following the mishap, which was more of a collision than grounding. She's carrying fuel and gasoline, and no leaks have been reported thus far. In Iran, seven cargo dows have caught fire. At Nikoltagi port in Bashir province, Iran, seven cargo dows, two fiberglass and five wooden, caught fire. There were no fatalities or injuries recorded. It's possible that some of them were loaded when they caught fire. The reefer silver crystal, destined for Russia, had its trip cut short due to a failure in the North Sea. On February 9, while en route from Riga, Latvia, to Murmansk, Russia, the reefer Silver Crystal encountered engine failure southwest of Stavanger, Norway. Offshore tug BB Ocean was dispatched, but reefer was able to restore power and sail to McSharvik for protection. The Alaska Borg, a Dutch ship suspected of leaking oil, has been ordered to circle back and forth in the North Atlantic, Alaska Borg has been named as a suspect in an oil leak off the coast of Newfoundland. On February 10, Canadian officials were notified, but the amount of oil that had escaped was unclear. The tank was shut, but the ship was commanded to stay on the crime scene, and she looped back and forth. The cape-sized bulk ship Changmei has been crippled, and traffic has been halted in the Bosphorus Strait. Shortly after crossing the Bosphorus Strait, the cape-sized bulk ship Changmei had engine failure, to be pulled to the outer anchorage for maintenance and inspection while under tow. She has 170,000 tons of coal on board. Traffic in the straits has been halted, but it is expected to reopen soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, drop it in comment section. Subscribe to Merit Aura for more updates.